Aries, it's Elle here to do a quick one card reading for you. Uh, thank you for being here. Oh, like, oh, all likes. No. Yeah, I need all your likes. Go ahead and click the like button. Yep, I'll wait for you. Thank you. Thank you for doing so. It was that quick. Um, yes, like, share, comment, subscribe. All information is in the description box if you need to get in contact with me for a personal reading. Readings are 50% off today and today only. Use code 50 off. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. So, Aries, your one card today is the Queen of Pentacles. Very nice card to get. Is it focusing? It is not. Oh, you may be frustrated. Um, you may be frustrated because you know your worth. You know what you are capable of. You know what you bring to each and every table. You know you're a hard worker. You know you care about the end result, the, the product or productivity. You know that you'll put 150% into something. Even if it is not your very own thing, if you're a part of it, people can expect you to do your best and be on your best, okay? But it looks like you might have to resist someone or something because they aren't seeing your worth, okay? This could be in regards to sex. You know, this could be in regards to sex, uh, a relationship, a secret relationship. Um, this could be in regards to resisting someone. Even with their advances, let's go out, I'll take you out, let's go here. You may have to resist, ward off because um, you want so much more. You want to be in a committed relationship. You want commitment. You want solidarity. You want oneness. You want monogamy. And you're not getting that uh, with a particular person. They can't give you that. They're not seeing the, the, um, the quality of you or in you. They're not seeing the uh, wife material that you are. Um, someone is taking you for granted. You could be a working mother, whether your children are adult or they're small babies. You work your mother. Boom. You could also be thinking about uh, trying to bring in different streams of income. Yeah. Think about bringing in different streams of income. Thinking about uh, just growing the money. Keep in mind that the queens are the doers of the tarot. So you're still actively doing. You haven't found super duper financial security like the king of pentacles where his money just works for him you know he could be sleep at night and the and the the bank account is just increasing increasing the money is working for him you're the queen of pentacles so you have a good nest egg or you have money or you know how to make money you know how to cultivate and grow but at the same time you're still doing a lot to earn your keep earn your money you also could be trying to redecorate or remodel maybe a home or you like really nice home furnishings you like luxury or luxury items you could dress really well you could be thinking about um maybe uh working out or what you're putting on your skin your skin is the biggest living organism that you have so you could be thinking about what you're putting on your skin uh what you could buy beauty regimens um i heard to like turn back the hands of time for some of you the queen of pentacles this also in terms of eating diet um just a healthy regimen altogether. this is understanding that you're a catch and this is a very fertile time in your life it's a, such a fertile time that some of you are even thinking about maybe starting your own thing, doing some independent work, maybe even having your own business, okay? It's, it's, a, it's a very fertile time. It's a time to strike, okay? You've got enough. You know enough. It's time to move if that's what you're choosing to do. I uh, could even talk about um, maybe you need to get a loan or you're going to go up for a loan or a grant or a large sum of money or you're going to use inheritance or you're going to use money that you have saved to actually bring something into fruition. It's like you're holding back and you're reserving yourself or you have um, a large dollar amount in your reserves, okay? Uh, you're also holding back in regards to no emotional outbursts for somebody who may try to push your buttons someone who doesn't see the value in you, in the relationship, in the connection, in the friendship, whatever. You're not going to allow them to push you to an emotional outburst because I heard you can take this shit as far as it can go. Okay, Aries. 
and they don't want to see that side of you. Someone could want forgiveness from you. They want you to deal with them compassionately. Her crybaby compassion. I don't know. You know, put it together how, how you can. You could be in situations where you liaison between mother, children. I don't know. This is what I'm getting for you, Aries. I hope that it provides you with a level of clarity in regards to any questions that you may have had coming into the reading. If you want to get your own personal reading, you can always go over to the website and book your reading there. Readings are 50% off today. Um, I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night um, where I do a collective reading and then I answer your questions. So take advantage of that. If you are a business-minded individual and you want to be around like-minded uh, folks, just like yourself, you can join the KTMG Keep the Momentum Going monthly conference call where you get valuable, practical, and spiritual advice to either start your business, maintain your business, or grow your business, okay? Uh, and then also, if you feel like you want to connect with me, you can always schedule your complimentary discovery call where we can get on a call and see if I can be of assistance, if I can help you in your journey uh, to business or in business, right? Uh, thank you. Many blessings to you. All links are below. Take care. We were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience, as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.